So my, my, name, my name is Phil Laporta. I am the city's manager of training and safety. It's a position I've been in for about 20 years now. Uh, we run training programs for all civilian City of Rochester employees, from mandatory training programs to new employee orientations, uh, computer skills training, supervisory development programs, and any other variety of skills programs that we can provide to our employees. Thanks, Phil. Um, what was your favorite thing about the MPA program? I thought that the MPA program, there were two pieces of it that were very important to me. One was that I saw it as something that was very marketable. I graduated with a degree in political science and had no real plan. And the MPA program uh, in 1981 was a brand new program and I saw it as something that was more marketable and might direct me into government service or not-for-profit or a pseudo-government type of agency. Uh, where I might be able to use some management skills. Is this what you thought you'd be doing with your MPA when you graduated? Well, I can't say that I thought I would end up as manager of training and safety for the city of Rochester, um, but I have always, my first passion was teaching and my second passion was government and good government. And so I think the fact that I am now a, a training director for municipal government has sort of combined the best both worlds. So how did you end up with your current position after you graduated? Well, after spending several years kind of taking whatever jobs I could possibly take, uh, I had an opportunity to run the city's summer youth employment program back in the mid-80s. And at the time, it was an extensive program where we hired 550 to 600 kids a year and put them to work doing all kinds of things. Um, it took about a year for me to finally take a civil service exam and receive a permanent appointment by the City of Rochester. And following that, I went directly into human resources and really have played a variety of roles in human resources um, up until, as I said, mid-90s when I landed in the training position. Students may look at this video and say, I want to work uh, for the city or for the government one day, or I, I want to end up in human resources. How do you make it happen? Well, first of all, we're talking about municipal government. So that means we hire differently than most other agencies. So um, we are civil service driven, and that means taking a test and getting on lists. And I would absolutely encourage every student in the MPA program to take as many civil service exams as they can get on as many civil service lists as they as they can get on um, because ultimately that's your way to a permanent to permanent employment with the city of Rochester and they really have to know what it is that they want to do what they're passionate about and what really matters most to them and if they could find a nice convergence between what matters most and the kind of things that we do here at the city, I would absolutely encourage them to try to get on that path and to try to work their way into city government. What are some of the, the transferable skills you learned at the MPA program that you still use today? Uh, I would say everything from the trivial, for example, uh, business writing and how to write professional sounding memos to uh, some more technical aspects of budget preparation because I am responsible for the operating budget of the city's training uh, office and so that's something that links directly back to the MPA program. Do you have any final words of wisdom for current students in the program? I think that public service, if that happens to be the track that you're on, public service and also the health field are both very admirable uh, professions to find yourself in. I think they are careers that you can be proud of and if those are where your passion leads you and those are the things that matter most to you, to focus on that and to uh, work hard at establishing and getting your first step, getting on the right track in either of those fields and uh, follow your passion, follow your bliss. That's great words of wisdom. Thanks so much for your time, Phil.